you know McFly, think again, because the boys are about to dish all the dirt, all the gossip, all the things you've always wanted to know in their new autobiography. This is called Unsaid Things, Our Story. And uh, they're, hang on, I'm not holding that properly. There you go, number three. <laughs> I thought it was number two over my shoulder. There you go. Um, first thing, how did you, this is a story of all of you, so how did this work out? Did you all sit together and decide which bits you wanted to do? Did you do interviews? Did you write any of it? Well, we, we were on tour, weren't we? Not I think um, that's the kind of the challenge with us, you know, because it's a, the four, four of us, it's not just one voice. Uh, and we kind of wanted that to come across because obviously when you're reminiscing about stories you remember it differently and you know we remember it's different a, pieces some or, of us don't remember it so remember anything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so while you try, while you try and remember because it's what eight years well it's, nine, it's hard you nine, know? Years. nine years you've been together and you packed a, a lot in in that yeah. time yeah. Down memory lane for you. <laughs> <laughs> First thing is, why did it come down to McFly? Because we know it's difficult getting these names. A lot of them are copyrighted in advance. Um, who chose McFly? Or where did... <laughs> that was me. Yeah. yeah, it was before we knew um, Harry and Dougie. And uh, Danny hated the name at first. <laughs> he absolutely hated it. Actually, Danny's was the opposite on every decision. Like when we were trying to find drummers and bass players, he didn't want Harry or Dougie either. <laughs> He wanted, the other, he wanted the other potentials. Um, but yeah, Danny wasn't convinced on the name, but I, uh, I think we kind of forced him into it. Oh, I'm loving the look this morning. Yes. Uh, very considered. Thanks, Thanks you know, Ten years late, but we finally yeah, pushed you've, up. You've got, got you've got a look, so which really is good. Up. Did Thank your mums have anything to do with that? So you're going on this morning? Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's more Dougie, really. Dougie's a, a sort of style, style dude. He's a style, style guru. guru. Yeah, so. Oh, that's good. But you see, you're, you're, you're talking about Danny there, but you, you could have be, had fame elsewhere. You were, I heard, originally in the busted lineup. I was. I was in it for about 24 hours, and then they kicked me out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Why did they? Why did they kick you? Well, I Charlie decided to go. Looking. Yeah, Charlie was a bit better looking than me. No, I, there was going to be four originally, or so, you know, they weren't really sure what the lineup was going to be, and then just decided it wasn't the quite good enough. The book, actually. Well, I, was, I was, I was really, story, really upset. The, the first part of the book is how we really got together, because you always ask in interviews, how did you guys get together, but this is the long, I think, interesting version. You know, what I thought was interesting, your folks were totally against it. They were, yeah. They just, yeah. Why were they so bent on well, not I being a Well, I think my dad kind of wanted me to go maybe to university. So you're a huge disappointment to your parents. Massive disappointment, <laughs> yeah. 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 I remember, I, as I say in the book, I just said, I'm going to do it regardless of what you say, so... I think it must be quite hard for parents to let their son, you know, go off into a band and, you know, it must be quite a well, daunting, scary thing. You hear so many thing. stories about the whole rock and roll lifestyle and I know you've addressed that in the book, all mm -hmm. of you, at different times, because you were very young and you get this instant fame. Mm -hmm. um, I know you've talked about drinking maybe too much, you get in those situations. <laughs> those of you, yeah, and, and Dougie obviously yeah, you've seen yeah. in the paper. <laughs> it, got, it got to a very dark place for you though, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, it, it, it did. Um, you know, thankfully I, I'm clean and sober now and have been for nearly two years. Um, but at the one of the one of the points of the book was was to clear up a few rumours and things like that. I, I didn't go to rehab because of a, a previous relationship. It was because of a, a drink and drug problem. And um, but yeah, all, all is good now. We're all in really really good good places. And do you think that's just that there is so much pressure? If you look at young bands now, there's One Direction out there doing so well, but it, there's so much pressure and they work so hard. People don't see that side, mm. do they, Danny, of the hard work? They see the fame and the glory. Yeah. You're sitting here on the telly and you've got a book and an album. I think that's... But there's day-to-day -day kind of grind. Oh, we work so hard. Oh, <laughs> my God. I think that's the thing, though. Like, it's hard, you know, it's hard for people in our position, people in bands, to complain because it's an amazing job. We get to do yes. incredible things, yes. but it's just like any you know walk of life. It's tough at times, and you all have your, everyone has their own and issues, your just job. like everyone else. Uh, and you're right. There's that whole thing that you well, you're aware of it because there's no point complaining about. It. You're not going to get any sympathy for it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But what is the 
off what you've got to do, what is the most tedious part of what you've got to do? This or the right. <laughs> 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 you asked for that, you want to wrap into that one. No, 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 on reflection, there is, you know, when we went and when we wrote the book, there is nothing tedious, really. We, we genuinely are the luckiest guys in the world and we, we love what we do. You never get time to sort of sit and talk about it, so the book was a really good opportunity for us all to just sit around. And talk yeah. about it and yeah. reminisce, and it was amazing. Did you find yeah. things out about each other that maybe you didn't know? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, because there's things you know that you talk. You know, there's obviously the, the stories that you reminisce about a lot, and you know, really good times. But there's stuff which we've never talked about. Mm -hmm. You know, we just have forgotten and the arguments we've had and how it's affected us. Yeah, which we didn't we discuss talked at about the time. Arguments we never talked about. Right. It was kind of. Did you resolve? It was quite old group therapy. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Yeah. Listen, have you seen Steps: The Reunion? Have you seen that documentary? I saw that. Yeah, yeah. They'll be doing one of those. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but what's lovely about it, it's the pictures that no one's in the personal pictures in here. It's yeah. a lovely school picture of you oh, there. Really? It just, <laughs> and it's only like three years ago. <laughs> <laughs> it's, br it's brilliant. It's brilliant to get that uh, you know, that view on your lives because really at the end of the day, uh, look at that. Look there you are. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that was, was cool at the time. Living in a parallel universe. At the time, I, I understand that. There are many pictures of bad haircuts I've had. That's around. why I went to Rio. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is that you're ordinary guys and you got this chance. And you've actually, you know, it's hard, but you've dealt with it. And that eight years must seem, does it seem like yesterday or does it seem oh, a long time ago? Yeah. So I think it's the thing, you know, when people look back on like their school years and it's because they ended, you can reflect on it, but because it's just ongoing. So it's, you never really take a step back and look at what you've achieved. It's only when we start writing the book you really kind of look at what we've done over the look last... Look at what you've minutes. achieved. Come dancing yeah. in the jungle, all of the, on the Getting group. married. Beatles can't say that. Engaged. <laughs> and you're engaged. Because you, the last time we saw you, you had your lovely now fiance yes, with yeah. you. So did you, was that, were we instrumental in that Absolutely. engagement? Absolutely. I saw the romance between you two and I just thought, uh, you know, you inspired me. Good. Totally, yeah. <laughs> well, come back and let us know when you're getting married. Um, new album out... No, yeah. you're working on the new album. Yes, yes. Yeah, that's the greatest the, hit. Yeah, the best of is, is November uh, with the new single, and then we're going to go away off Christmas, aren't we, boys? And yeah, just so spring next year. Do some more writing and, and finish off the new album. Lovely. It's good to see you. Liking the look. Thank you very much. You could just keep that and just change the tie colour. Oh, that's exactly what that is. That's the plan. <laughs> <laughs> I like that's what he does. Okay. It's easy. One navy suit, one white shirt, and just different ties. So, that's all that's that's so easy for boys. Nice to see you all. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. Now, so